how do you deal with the aftermath of a cyber fraud or a scam? So most people end up getting devastated in issues like this. They don't know what to do, where to, they don't know where to start from or how, where to end. Like they are mostly confused and some end up hurting themselves. Some keep it in mind for a long time and then this affects them mentally. So what do you do in cases like this? How do you overcome such? How do you deal with such cases? We'll be giving you that info in this video. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. When people get defrauded, it's always very, it's a very sad event or sad occurrence. And so some people don't know how to deal with it. Some people end up blaming themselves. Some, some people call themselves names and people say to themselves, I'm very foolish. How did I fall for this kind of scam? So some of them end up either hurting themselves or just keep, they keep thinking about it. Why some, they use it as an avenue to blame the government that because of unemployment, see what people are doing and the government is not doing anything. Why some, they acknowledge that the people that actually scam them are quite smart and then they blame the scammers or the fraudsters, they blame the people that scam them. And so, but in the end, all if you notice, all these things are what they call crying over spill smith. So most of the times you can't get what you lost back. So I think you should, you should move forward and then find a way to deal with this and not thinking about the past or the occurrence move forward and know how to mitigate or prevent this from happening in the future because it can always happen twice it's not if you if you are scammed once it doesn't mean you can't be scammed again or you can't be defrauded again so you need to know how to deal with this so that even if you are not the one that gets scammed maybe a colleague or a friend or someone you do not know gets scammed you can always help the person out and tell the person the steps to take to prevent it from happening next time or to even recover what the person lost. We'll be giving you four tips on how to deal with this. So the, so the, the first and the most important thing you must do is to find out what went wrong. You, find, you need to find out what went wrong in the first place. You are a social engineer at, and there are so many ways one can be social engineer. Either through what they call phishing, that is um, online, either through clicking of links or deceived, someone deceived you to go to a website or something like that or you were scammed by vision vision is what they call um, a phone call scam so you could be called someone could call you that is from your bank or some other place and then the person scams you through call so that's what they call vision is a form of social engineering and then there's what they call smishing so smishing that one is from scam via sms so they send you sms fake sms that either you've qualified for something or that you need to upgrade something and then once you once you do what they say and you are scammed through that means that's what they call smishing so what do you do you need to identify what happened how the scam happened so that should be the first step so that you prevent to to prevent a reoccurrence you need to know what happened in the first place how did this happen so that you, you won't repeat so that you won't repeat that same mistake next time okay and then if you found out what happened or how it happened then you can always with the help of a professional reports to the appropriate quarter so that they know what to do if it's something that if they can recover your money or what you lost they can start with investigation quickly and then help you out okay so the first you need to make sure you know what happened or how it happened the if were you hacked were you hacked maybe your laptop was even or your your mobile phone was hacked and then they got your credit card details from your from your phone or the link you clicked and then they used and they, then they withdrew all your money or most of your money is that the way or were you scammed that way or were you defrauded that way so you need to make sure you know the way you were scammed so that's the way you, that's after that you can now take the next step which is to report okay then the second step you should take is to to inform the general audience that's to create awareness about what happened so you can tell people around you your friends your family tell them what happened let them know how you got scammed don't be scared to tell them yeah they will, they will sympathize with you they will they will calm you down they will let you let, let you know that they will let you know that uh, everything is well so make sure you tell people around you and also that is i mean your physical your physical circle those around you and also your online circle so tell people online your whatsapp your twitter let's share the experience share it share it exactly how it happened so that you know tell them um tell them how the scam occurred or how exactly you were scammed so that people know 
and then they are aware of this they will not they can't be scammed again in the, in the, in the same manner at least so those people that should see it so social media is one avenue to share this and the moment you share this on social media it can reach more people so but if you want to also reach a broader platform because social media now depends on the people you are following or the people that are following you they, those are the people that might be able to see it or those on your con whatsapp contacts those are the people that can see it but if you need a larger avenue or larger audience to see this and um to and get aware you can always do it on no go for maga platform so our web the website is no go for maga dot com so i'll put the link in the description below you can decide to share your story anonymously so if you don't want to put your name or so that people will not know it's coming from you you can just share the story on that platform on that website so you can check for the link in the description below you will see it there so anytime someone has such issues and tell the person to go there and then report such issues then we will help in the then the website will help in the spreading of awareness okay and so the third one is recovering what you lost okay so you might have lost some money or some details or some of that thing. but if you've lost money how do you recover it most times it's always very difficult to recover this this money the money lost sometimes it might take a long time but you eventually recover it so if transfers were done from your bank account and, and you scam that way and always write to the bank that you need your money back that you should refund stuff like that so you can write then take it to court and follow those steps okay you can follow those steps and then you get your money back at least 20 percent of the time is is very rare for it to happen but at times it happens depending on the case but in the scenario where this is difficult to and then probably you don't to give yourself so much headache on that there's no need to dwell on it okay just move forward forget about that incident and then find a way to live with it i know it's it's sounding easy as i'm saying it to forget about a whole it might be a whole lot of money that you lost but most times when you keep dwelling on it you give yourself um this you just keep stressing yourself and then mentally it's not good for you to so find a way to deal with it it's better to forget about such an incident to so find a way you can recover your money or try that means but don't dwell on it so the fourth one is staying aware and alert so this is the most important one that to have that that is to avoid any further occurrence or future occurrence you need to stay aware and alert okay and so how do you do this you make sure you are subscribed to uh, youtube channels that that teach online safety or cyber safety that teach you how to be safe online so click on the subscribe button now if you've not subscribed as we give you tips to stay, stay online and then we bring all this information any type of scam used by all scammers hackers we always make sure we inform you on time so that you are aware of it so click on the subscribe button now don't forget to do that so social media platforms are also another very good way you can stay aware and alert okay and so there's different lots of social media platforms that teach cyber safety uh, you just go there follow them like them and then keep on in because one thing is most people most people always play the ignorance game they, do, they don't want to know about cyber cyber safety then they ignore it most of the time until they get hit and then when they get hit they start regretting it and then they wish they had followed or they had done what they're supposed to have done so visit if you need a platform to that will be giving you cyber security updates cyber safety updates and online safety updates so no matter what country you are in you can always check that platform even the any any scam that is going around any fraud any hoax any any message that is going around just to scam people either via email or any type of scam you get the information on those platforms on those social media platforms so make sure you follow and check out no go for maga okay just as I'll, I'll put it in the description below so you see it so make sure you follow them you get more information on that and then you can also don't forget their website their website is another platform you can get those information you might have seen scams that um as that had been on for over a decade and then 
you just notice that someone still fell for the same scam today and then you're wondering why is this person stupid or is this person how come the person didn't know about this scam that has been uh, has been on for a long time and so most times it's ignorance the person didn't know or the person didn't have someone to educate him or her about these incidences so don't be caught sleeping okay these scammers fraudsters malicious hackers they always find new ways to do these um, malicious acts and so if you are not aware if you are not in the know if you are not keeping yourself updated or um, if you're not subscribed to a platform that can keep you updated on these things you end up falling for them okay there's no you can't say you are very very smart and that you cannot fall for you might not fall for a, call, a scam by someone calling you or by someone sending an sms but there are so many ways online either social media or so many things you don't know clicking of links and so many other things that can get you scammed or get you defrauded you might lose your details or you might lose money or if you don't have money you might lose so many details that could affect you in future or some other time so make sure you are aware subscribe to this channel if you haven't okay and also don't forget to go through the links in the description they are very important it will help you there are platforms there that can always keep you updated in terms of your cyber safety so thank you guys for watching this video so thank you for staying to the end and i hope you've learned so many things from this particular video and sorry if you faced such issues about being scammed i sympathize with you it's not it's not it's not great actually to to it's devastating to be scammed and so but these have given you ways in which you can deal with them okay then also find people around you that can help you deal with the cases so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and also smash the subscribe button and then share share sharing of this video is very important because that is the only way other people around you can be aware okay so share this video and then we'll see you next time remember to stay subscribed does the beat take you over you just can't breathe do you feel your bones start to shake do you feel the earthquake do you feel your bones start to shake do you feel the earthquake